everyone, welcome to class. Today we will be learning about latitude and longitude. So this is a concept I've had students struggle with before as it can be confusing, but I have no doubt that you all will do well because we are going to get through this together. So before we begin, you will be taking notes. So I ask that you have a pencil and some sort of writing and some sort of writing paper. It can be scratch, but these will be important notes and put any potential distractions away like your phone or classwork from other classes. So today we have a couple of goals and those are to learn how to use latitude and longitude to describe locations, how to locate familiar places on maps using latitude and longitude, and understanding the difference between latitude and longitude. So here we have some vocabulary that will be used during the lesson, so please make sure you are writing these down. Let me know if you need more time. And let's begin. So latitude are the lines that run pe parallel to the equator. It shows north and south, and these lines are horizontal or run left to right. The equator represents zero degrees latitude and is also the main line that divides the earth into north and south. Here on the map, you see the equator is labeled with a bold line, and it breaks the Earth into north and south. So from the equator, you would measure up to the North Pole or down to the South Pole. So next, we have longitude. These are the lines that run parallel to the prime meridian, and they show east and west. They run vertically or up and down across the globe. The prime meridian represents zero degrees longitude and breaks the earth into east and west. Shown here on this map with the words prime meridian written over Africa and Europe. So we're going to take a break for questions. So could someone please raise their hand and tell the class one difference between latitude and longitude? Yes, Patrick? Latitude used the equator at zero degrees. Longitude uses the prime meridian. Thank you, Patrick. That is correct. So when we are measuring latitude, we start at the equator and longitude at the prime meridian, as Patrick said. Does anyone else have any questions before we continue? No. Alrighty. Next, we will learn how to measure latitude and longitude, beginning with latitude. So when we are measuring latitude and longitude, our units are degrees. And latitude is measured from 0 to 90 degrees north or south of the equator. So this means that your measurements for latitude cannot be larger than 90 degrees or smaller than 0. The North Pole represents 90 degrees north. So from the equator to the North Pole, you would count up to 90 degrees. The South Pole represents 90 degrees south. So from the equator, you would count up to 90, but heading south to the South Pole. So we're gonna practice measuring latitude with this map of the state of Ohio. So could anyone tell me what line of latitude our state capitals is on? Patrick? Columbus is on 40 degrees north. Thank you, Patrick. And what county do we live in? Does, can anyone tell me what county we live in? Jackson. Yes, thank you. And what line of latitude is Jackson on? 39 degrees north. Thank you, Patrick. You're doing really well. So what line of latitude is Tiffin, Ohio on? Tiffin is on 41 degrees north. Thank you. You're doing really well, Patrick. Okay, so next we're going to move on how to measure with longitude. So... Longitude measures the distance east to west of the prime meridian. It is measured from 0 to 180 degrees. So you cannot have measurements higher than 180 degrees or lower than 0. The prime meridian represents 0 degrees longitude. And the international dateline represents 180. So when we are measuring longitude, you start at the prime meridian, and head east or west up to 180 degrees until you reach your destination. So, now we're going to practice measuring longitude with the same map of Ohio. So could anyone tell me what line of longitude our state capital's on? 
Patrick? Columbus is on 83 degrees west. Thank you, Patrick. And our county's capital? Jackson is 82 degrees west. Thank you, Patrick. And with that, that is a great try. But as you can see on the map, Jackson lies between 82 degrees and 83 degrees west. So when asking how close it is, it is closer to 83. And I will tell you the reason why we can be a little bit off with our numbers here in just a little bit. Okay, could anyone tell me where Tiffin, Ohio is nearest to? Tiffin is 83 degrees west. Thank you, Patrick. That is correct. So now let's take everything we've learned so far and put it all together. So latitude and longitude is written together with your latitude measurement first, followed by your unit of latitude. This is called a coordinate. Now this, the coordinate is very important, so make sure you write that down in your notes as one of your vocabulary words. And so if we take the three examples from our previous slides and write them correctly into a coordinate, we have this. We have Columbus, Ohio, located at 40 degrees north and 83 degrees west. And we have Jackson, Ohio, written at 39 degrees north and 83 degrees west, and Tiffin, Ohio, at 41 degrees north and 83 degrees west. Make sure you're checking the answers you wrote down in your notes for these questions. So, to continue putting it all together, latitude and longitude measurements are most precise when measured without rounding. So when you see a latitude and longitude measurement, they are usually into the like thousands. You know, we're going 10 or so numbers past the decimal. And that is the most accurate way to measure it, but it does get complex and it is complicated. So for you all, we will stick with rounding to whole numbers, just like we did in our ex three examples. And that is why, although Jackson is between 82 and 83, it is closer to 83. So for our purposes, it is located on 83 degrees west. And for your next assignment, which is a pop quiz, you will be rounding to the nearest whole number. So we will be transitioning into a little quiz and I'd ask that all of you please pull out a blank sheet of paper and then answer the following questions with the map handout. So when you came in today, you should have seen a map of Ohio on your desk, which we have been using throughout our notes. So if you haven't had one this whole time, please go to the back of the room to where we keep our papers and pick one up because you will need it for this quiz. So, once you finish answering the questions on these next slides, please follow our class rules and remain in your seats when you are finished as I will collect the papers at the end of class. If any of you have any extra time, you may sit quietly in your seats and catch up on any missing assignments from my class or any of your other teachers. So I'm going to read the quiz questions to you and then you may begin. Okay, question one. Which way do lines of latitude run? Question two, what is the name of the line that represents zero degrees longitude? Number three, does north or south come first when writing the coordinates of a location? Number four, on which line of longitude is Waverly, Ohio located? Number five, what are the coordinates of Ottawa, Ohio? And for those last two, please refer to your Ohio map handout. So now that I've read them to you and ha have had your attention, I thank you and you may begin.